Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I'm going to be doing a hair transformation. I'm going to be showing you guys how I transform my hair from straight, blunt, short hair to really luscious, long, bellamy hair extensions hair. So I know that hair extensions can be really hard to blend your natural hair. Um, there's certain techniques you have to do to make it the best that it can be so that it looks the most natural and you can't tell that you're wearing hair extensions. So if you guys want to see how I transform my hair with Bellamy hair extensions, then please keep watching. So the hair extensions that I purchased from Bellamy Hair is the dark brown number two hair extensions and they are the Bambina 20 inch 160 gram hair extension. What I love about Bellamy hair extensions is that the hair comes in like a variety of strands in the bundle of hair. So you can't really see the variation, but if you look close up, you can see that there are different colors within the hair. So this is how much hair 160 grams 20 inches is. Um, I have purchased from Bellamy hair before and um, I purchased uh, bleach blonde hair extensions because I was blonde at the time and then I went brunette and I dyed them and over time they just got wrecked because I basically wrecked them. So now being back brunette I decided to get brown hair extensions and literally they look like the color of my hair which is amazing. The first step that I do when blending in my hair is I'm going to section off my hair maybe about here, like just above my ear. I already pre-straightened my natural hair. That's just going to help so I don't have to straighten every single piece of my hair after I put these extensions. I straighten it before so that it is easy to blend and I can just touch up little pieces here and there. I'm going to part down my hair in the back and we're gonna create two sections. What I'm going to use is a scrunchie just so that it doesn't make any dents in my hair if I use um, a more tight hair tie. What I'm going to do is create a braid, a really tight braid on my scalp. I'm pretty sure this is a Dutch braid and I'm just braiding this half of my hair. So the purpose of braiding the um, bottom half of your hair is to prevent the little strands of hair to peek through at your neck when you have the hair extensions in. So now I'm going to take this hair tie and I'm just going to secure this braid. I'm going to do the same on the other side. And again, with the hair tie, we're just gonna secure it. So, looking a little crazy. <laughs> I'm just gonna take some bobby pins and we're just going to secure this in place. So this is what the hair looks like. All pinned up. Again, doesn't have to be perfect. It will do. So the first weft that I'm going to take is this three clip weft. And what I'm going to do is place it right above and clip it in right above that braid that we pinned up. So I'm going to continue doing that. Um, I'm going to do then a four clip weft, pin it right on top. This one kind of wraps around the side. We're going to go in again with another four clip. So this is how it's looking so far. So as you can see, because we pinned up the um, bottom half of my hair, you can't see any little pieces. It just looks like long hair, okay? The last piece, again, I'm going to take a three clip weft and we're gonna place that right above that four clip. So this is what the bottom half looks like. It looks seamless because all it is is the extensions. And we have four wefts in the hair so far. And this is what it looks like with just those so far. So you can still see that you can see my natural hair and the extension. So we're going to fix that. We're going to take a comb and we're going to part right about here. I have about this much hair and we're just gonna pin that to the side right now. This is the 
look. And we're going to take a two clip weft and we're going to pin it right along here. And I kind of like to tilt it on the side just so that you can't see the um, clips at the crown of the hair. So this is how long the extensions are. They go right about to my rib cage. They're really long. My natural hair was to here. Um, so now we're going to take the last clips. There are four single clip lefts. So we're just gonna take a little bit of hair here and pin this one here. And we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Okay, so my camera died, but I just added the last two one clip lefts on the side back of my head, and then I just straightened my um, extensions just to help it blend in with my natural hair. When I was straightening my extensions, I was also grabbing pieces of my natural hair um, just to make it more seamless. This is what the hair looks like when it's fully blended. Um, as I said, this is the best that I can do with the amount of hair that I purchased where I can place the hair on my head. Obviously, if I were to curl my hair, it would blend in a lot easier, but I wanted to show you guys how I did it straight because straightening your hair with hair extensions, especially clip-in extensions, it is really tricky to not get the clips to show and to have it really seamless without having any blunt lines with your natural hair. So I'm gonna show you guys the back of my hair. So this is what the back looks like. So that is my hair transformation from short hair to long, luscious, smooth hair. So if you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Comment down below what other videos you would like me to make. Subscribe to my channel if you are new here. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!